Hello there, I'm Audrey Hill. Welcome back to some Hearts of Iron 4, playing Pax Britannica, and my camera is ever so slightly askew, but it's fine now. So we're playing Austrian Reich, and it's 24th of November 1936. We're playing this live at twitch.tv slash Hill. We no longer get Hungarian business assets seized, but that's okay. Okay. Getting a little bonus every now and then. Um, we're gonna get some artillery bonuses. We are gonna get Battlefield Support Air Doctrine. And I'm going to start getting Field Hospital. Alright, I'm just being told I should play Kerbal Space Program later. I hope you guys like my beard, by the way. I've been, I've, I grew it all the way through Australia, and today I just sculpted it for the first time since it's coming back. It's culled quite a lot, but it's still got that kind of forward look. I think it looks good. Do it. Alright, Corpus Economics. E economics? Economies. It will give me some civilian factories, which is great. Give me production efficiency and construction speed in general. I love the cavalry splits for a new phone. And then another terrorist attack. Okay, so I think I need to get rid of these Hungarians very quickly. I'm going to be going an ultra-nationalist monarchy super fast. Um, how do I get rid of these bastards? There we go, yeah. So I need to go to a new Imperial Army. I think the moment I get 37, I'm going to go there, here, and then here. Because this is going crazy, you know. It's just getting really frustrating. Have I seen Commissar? No, I haven't seen Roach about his beard yet. No, I'm looking. I'll look forward. Look forward to seeing that. That'd be weird. All right. At the moment, it's just waiting, and I am freaking freezing in this place. Oh my god. Open Ottoman Empire Warsaw, and please, please, if you send me a link, I'll do that later, buddy. Ooh. Here we go. All right. Now we're gonna start to check out some mail factories. Once these civilian factories have been completed, because it's a good idea to make sure I have enough civ factories. To I think we'll just build just and then we'll start getting some Right. I, I don't know, I kind of I wanna get through the economic plan and stuff, but I really want to go Balkans dominance at the same time. You know? well, let's go let's go to the Vienna Conference now. The Vienna Conference has been an annual stable of the party since it seized control. Members of the Phylon Front from around the nation come together in Vienna to discuss the direction of the country. It's proven unique as various blocks have begun to seek power. Now oh, that's gonna be interesting. Interesting, I get to see this. I'd love to see lots of new people coming to the stream, by the way, guys. Really happy to have you. All right, let's see what happens, right? Um, uh, uh. All right, we're only at 59k, but we're getting a nice, decent amount of divisions together, which is good. The, the, the event should folk allow me to kind of nick all this territory. How on earth do I annex Romania? Is there a, a focus to try and take Romanian territory? I would like that. Serbian threatened Bosnia. Germanization. Ah, it, yes, there is. Yeah, Romanian integration program is right here. So we can basically integrate them. That would be super good to do first, actually. I think I should probably do that, like, very fast. Being able to have a really... Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, no, I need to go here. There we go. Because being able to annex these guys, I think... Whoa, whoa! They finished that fast? Holy shit. my construction speed? Ooh! Oh! That's a very fast construction speed! Oh, boy. Oh, do I have a focus that gives me focus? Yes, construction speed 10%. And 10% again, so 20%, and then 10%, 30%? Oh, my goodness. 30% construction speed right now. That's insane. Let's get um, an extra steel from the French. Um, and we can actually go another thing. So let's go into political advisor. And let's pick up the factory construction speeds. Do it. All right, there's the conference. Okay, members of the party have arrived from throughout the nation. The conference has been held every year and been a key element in all political decisions. Thank you for the link, buddy. Appreciate that. All right, so do, 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 been a key element in political decisions. And here's unique, formerly niche political blocks within the party have begun to gain traction. The restorationists, headed by representatives of the Habsburg monarchy, have come and proposed the idea of a new imperial state. On the opposite spectrum, the Strasbourg has come forward to push their own agenda, headed by Gregor Strasser. As the opening ceremonies of conference are conducted, reporters from home and abroad wait with bated breath. Interesting. 
All right, let's uh, let's go ultranationalist monarchy. The Habsburgs have ruled for centuries, and they shall rule it once more. While the true heir to the throne, that's spelled wrong, Ferdinand lies in exile in France, another member has come forward to propose his rule. Otto von Habsburg to be crowned the King Chancellor of the new Austrian Empire, and the restorationists in the far line front in common interest. I think that's definitely the right way to go. Alright, Hungarian terrorist tank. Oh, good. Problem is, though, is that can I play this on Twitch, this song? Uh, but we'll see. I'll play it on the next episode, my friend. Hey. Okay. The political power gain is really hurting me, but I need to go. I at very least need to go down to Imperial Army to be able to get rid of the Hungarian resistance. From there, I think we can start to go Balkans dominance and get Romanian integration program. All right, let's do this. I did. Field Hospital 1, beautiful. Get some construction speed as well. How's our support doing? Good. We're actually doing very well in regards to equipment. So we are actually going to need some recruitable population, and we don't get recruitable population until we go into Father and Fatherland. We need to go through two more focus trees to get that. North Sea Empire took one state. Denmark was annexed. They just formed the North Sea Empire, led by ultra-nationalism, led by Fritz Carlsen. Oh boy. Going to pack for winter. Norway name... What? Oh, they're just going to steal it. They're just going to steal Norway. What can Norway... Who can say Norway if is not Danish? Get annex war goal. Oh, that's a bugged event. All for Scandinavia. Great faction. Oh, that factionizes it. You very good stream and very good sun. Please, uh, I'll do it in a little bit, buddy. All right. I gotta check it before I uh, in between the recordings. You gotta wait ten minutes. All right, delay. Let's keep going with this. Ah, damn! This Hungarian terrorist attack, though. All right, here we go. Ultra nationalist economy. Uh, on a shocking political upset, the Restorationist bloc has taken control. Representing the Habsburg monarchy in exile, the Restorations have unanimously voted into power by the party. In another oddity, the party has chosen not to return Emperor Ferdinand or his eldest son, but pushed for Otto von Habsburg. This has brought scorn from the remaining Habsburgs in the French and Mexican monarchies, as Otto has openly stated his support for the Fatherland Front. While sheltered in France, the new Emperor of Imperial Austria is due to return and reclaim his throne. Ooh, spicy stuff. Spicy stuff. Wait, Mexico's? Mexico? Jesus. Look at that. Otto von Habsburg, baby. Welcome back. The current army is made of conscripts for the most part, and not an insignificant number of displeased with the new re regime. Form the army more in lines of the Imperial Army. Get some recruitable population factor, please. I will soon, Alpha. Calm down. Alright. Yeah, I guess Denmark didn't actually win. We bet that Denmark would win. It turned out the North Sea Empire was. Who knew? Who knew? The so political power dying is very unpleasant, but we're gonna. Once, as soon as this is over, I think the best thing is to then go back to the economy section to get recruitable population, so I can keep recruiting. Then go back to the Romanian integration program. Definitely gonna be a longer area amount of time. Like I have to wait a little while. Mexico being a monarchy, yeah, we're led by Maria Josefia Sofia. Who is she? A person, Maria Josefia Sofia. Let's take a look. I'm gonna Google it. Yeah, she was, she was the head of the Imperial House. Oh. oh, she was actually the Emperor. Huh. She was Habsburg? Wait, what? She's. Whoa. What? She's a Habsburg? She was, born, she was the eldest child of Prince Salvador de Urban Child. His fa her father was the grandson of Emperor Augustine of Mexico, an adopted son of Maximilian of Mexico. What the hell? It's amazing. Following the death of her childless uncle, she inherited the turbotide and has her claims to turn to Mexico, but she played no political role. She and her second husband were in turn the Russian Communist government. They died under suspicious circumstances. Oh, that's depressing. Let's get resource gain efficiency so I can try and get a little bit more of that steel. Alright. Because I have a little. I do have some steel, but not enough. Annoyingly, I can't recruit anymore until I get more population. Hopefully, the recruitable population factor should help me out a little bit. Here we go. I need to annex Romania, that's what I need. That did not help. Didn't help at all. The Fatal Line Militia has been a key <coughs> PL element of Romanian party uh, power. They have, however, become unruly and difficult to control. Debates, raids, and party how they should be dealt with. Okay, so that's not very helpful. So let's go down to the economic section and start getting Vulcan Fatherland. We can get that recruited population 3%. Kind of annoying, I didn't get recruited population factor, considering I have that. Are you? Weird. Oh, it just immediately disappeared. 
So the leader of Mexico IRL, it was IRL the last Habsburg. What? That's so weird. I know that. Rule Britannia. Britannia. The conversion speed bonus over here. And we're going to need a lot of steel. A lot of steel. Try and get some more light tanks as well to deal with our deficit. Once we've got that recruitable population, I think we should go down the Romanian route and start annexing them. If we can kind of leave these two alone for a little while. I do want the free factories. Primarily, I want to get over here. Stab the Prussians in the back. So there's a lot of growth like uh, um, through the focus tree. To be honest, I don't really want to go down claims to um, thingy for a long time yet. No. Bum, bum, ba -dum. The Macedonian exchange. Albanian siege of Macedonia during the chaos that followed was a point of contention. Given our proximity, we could exploit this to bring Greece into the fold and exchange Macedonia for their allegiance. What does this mean? Does I, do I get to annex them or what? A new Turco German line. Root. Get some more research. No, 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 no more research getting efficient. So they start getting uh, maintenance company. All right. Have you looked at the dev vlog for the new E4 type? No, actually, I haven't yet. The most recent one, no silver, but I'm looking forward to seeing it. I'm not drunk on tiredness yet, my friend, but I'll be soon. The Fortress Australia. Get that population. Yeah, I saw that. It's in my feed, but I haven't watched it yet. I'm looking forward to seeing that because I'm, re I'm really looking forward to the new E4 updates when it comes out and Stellaris as well. Oh, I also did get Steel Division um, as a code. I'm probably going to play that later today. Yeah, huge amounts of work in the Britain region for Okay, so. Ah, this is what I hate about mods for Hearts of Iron that aren't 100% like, done, like more like Kaiserreich is. It's just it's nothing to do while I wait for the focus trees. I'm literally just like waiting to read a story, you know? Very frustrating. Hey, divisions are recruited. Alright, come on. Hey, Doggo Mage7663, welcome to stream. Thank you so much for joining me. This is the Pax Britannica mod. Effa spelt it wrong. Get it together, Effa. I mean, really. Come on. Get it together. Alright, come on. TikTok. No worries, Doggy Mage. Welcome to the stream. I love your name, by the way. I think Russia should really have a focus tree. I mean, it's so crazy they don't. Ooh, Steppe Confederation would be a really cool one to have. My favorite nation in uh, Kaiserreich is Mongolia and all the steppes and stuff, but they don't have their own focus tree. It's just not very cool. She was Habsburg. Really interesting, the leader of Mexico. The Fortress Austria, beautiful. Now we can grab Faith and Father and Faith and Fatherland. Austria is a Catholic nation, should remain so forevermore. Approach church leadership, trying to integrate party politics with certain religious ideals, and unity front and church would further consolidate power and allow us more avenues to exert control of population. The reason I want that is I get recruitable population 3%. Considering I have total manpower 365, and I only get 2.5%, I'm gonna double my manpower. Easily. So good. You guys streaming no adverts? No! Not like this. And I don't even get I don't even get money for adverts. That's the worst part. I hate the fact that I, you guys have to watch adverts, but I don't even get income for it. It'd be one thing if you were supporting me. But I don't. The Joel Hearts of Iron, thank you for the follow, buddy. Welcome to the stream. That is a that's a good name, man. That's a good name grab right there. Uh let's start getting some working towards the next infantry equipment section. No longer the effects of economic recovery plan. Oh, I like that. Really appreciate that follow, man. I think they've reworked the entire... Yeah, the entire mission system is completely reworked. It's looking really... Ooh, look at these factories. Let's start working on some fighters, too. Oh, we're so low on equipment. All right, let's get some... Actually, let's get it from Rex Comrade uh, Romania. Because it actually doesn't matter that we're... Um... I mean, when you when you take resources from your puppet or whatever, it increases their chance, it increases their progress towards freedom. But I don't need that because I'm I can annex them through focus trees. Fine. Um, I can't go war economy or anything like that, so we can just try and get another advisor. But I don't really know what I'm... I want to drift. It's pretty boring advisors, to be honest. Very boring. Doggy mate, thank you for the follow, buddy. Welcome to the stream. Love it to hear that follow sound again. It's really nice to hear. Really appreciate that follow, guys. Um, I guess getting a military theorist would be pretty good, so I'll have to save up the political capital for that. I mean, I don't have ads. Perks of Prime. This is true. Twitch Prime is great. 
And you guys gotta make sure you give your Twitch Prime sub to the right person. Alright, helps get any players, makes this a little more accessible. Yeah, I think it's looking, it's looking really good. Alright, get them file line, give me that population. Then we can start to annex Romania, and then annex the remainder of this area. I'm pretty sure I can end up with basically all of this, and then start the conquering. I like Italy as well. It's kind of like, exploded. Alright, let's go into Blitzkrieg, because I'm going to go into tanks as soon as possible. Look how much infantry equipment I have there. Crazy. Alright. Oh, it's really nice to be seeing new followers come into the stream, you know, because obviously it's been a little while since I've done proper streams again. Really nice to everyone popping in, saying hey, you know. Oh, thanks for the retweets on Twitter. Alright, there we go. 370k population. Nice. Let's get Balkans dominance. Austria has historically dominated the Balkan region. This is through royalty or a bulwark against Islamic Turkish expansionism. Now you must dominate the Balkans through military force. The Romania is under our control. There are many smaller southern states that may be subjugated before we turn our attention outwards. You bet, my friend. Liquid Hot Shotty. Thanks so much for that follow, buddy, and welcome to the stream. Yo, my friend, what is up? How you doing? Paid sub. A, a paid for sub to Aldra. What do you mean, sniper? Oh, you don't have ads for. Amazon gives the five dollars, I believe. Well, basically, yeah. What you do is you, if you give a, uh, you know, how it works is you can go Twitch Prime, and then you get a you get a sub. And you can give it to one streamer. So when you give it, to, you give it to me. I get the same amount as if you paid me money, but it don't doesn't you don't actually lose money. It's quite cool. I, I like the system. Uh, maintenance company. All right, let's get towards logistics company now. Not much going. I'm about to finish my second Hearts of Iron 4 game today. Oh my god. Second Hearts of Iron game ever or second Hearts of Iron game today? Because damn, man. I'm doing a 24-hour stream, so I'm playing quite a lot of Hearts of Iron. Yeah, Amazon owns Twitch. Exactly. Yeah, that makes sense, right? This is going to be a long stream, my friend. Love you to have you, my friend. Really appreciate new people coming by. All right. I got to pace myself, man. I got... Oh my god. It's almost been one hour. It's almost been one hour of my 24-hour stream. Yes, guys, if you got any plans for a Stellaris Apocalypse releases, yes, I'm going to be going crazy on Stellaris. Oh my god. I'm going to go nuts on that game. I am going to be doing two series. I'm going to be doing a multiplayer game with a bunch of other YouTubers that's kind of still up in the air. I'm going to be doing a multiplayer stream game as well. I'm basically going to try and stream every day of that game because it's just so it's going to be so good. The eventual integration of Romanian occupied territory has been a key goal since the monarchy was deposed. The program has been, able to, been on the table for some time. We could do well to finally begin institutionalizing the policies. Yes, give me Romania. One hour done, 23 left. Oh boy. I'm excited. So, second, so it's your today, but also second game ever. Awesome, man. I highly recommend once you've tried out the major nations to check out um, some of the mods. So I'm playing Pax Britannica right now, which is basically where the UK won the American Revolution and how that changed history. Kaiser Reich is easily the best mod in the, um, in the Hearts of Iron 4 community. Followed by Millennium Dawn, but Kaiserreich is the best. Basically, Germany won World War One, and it's so detailed and rich and interesting. It's a fantastic stream. I highly, highly recommend it. Uh, sorry, stream mod. I'm playing a different one. I would definitely recommend you check out my um, my YouTube channel. Do me to go here. And... If I'm not like, I got um, I got my girlfriend's laptop to the side. <laughs> My girlfriend's laptop to the side to try and um, allow me to still utilize uh, the chat because I don't have two monitors at the moment. Because basically, I don't have my graphics card because I sold it before I went away, thinking I'd be away longer. Turns out I wasn't. So I'm still here. So I no longer have a graphics card. But I highly recommend you check out my YouTube channel and take a look at some of my Let's Plays that I have for Kaiserreich. All right, okay, I'll jump in Kaiserreich game after I win the war to make the Spain Center. Awesome, man. All right, Kaiserreich original was a darkest hour mod. It must have been a hard. No, I know it was. Yeah, I played that. It was really good. Okay, remaining integration program has finished, so we can now go purge the Iron Guard or integrate the Iron Guard. So if we purge them, the Iron Guard has been a muscle for the occupation force. Their previously hyper nationalistic policies have raised some concerns in the government. Remove the leaders from government or integrate them. Remove the lords of the regime time and again. Fully integrate them to occupation forces. So ban Orthodox profit is one of the following. So, it doesn't actually matter. I don't see any reason why I wouldn't just integrate them, right? Right? Just integrate them. I don't see a, I don't see a problem. Let's see what happens. 
Yeah, someone to join if you want to know one. Yeah, I definitely recommend you check out on my Discord as well. All right, let's put everyone in a nice big army. I actually haven't seen my field marshals yet. So we got a uh, max entrenchment. Urban assault specialist. <gasps> I love that. Let's get field marshal for now. And let's put these guys on the Romanian border just in case. I mean, I, I don't know what's happening over here. I don't know if they, I don't, just in case they try and do a civil war or something, I want to be able to crack them out. See what happens. If for Kaiser Red game, definitely play the USA. It's a really good civil war. Purge them. Kill them all. Kill them all. Kill them all. Burn them all. You guys remember that in the Game of Thrones? Who is Daisy Blade 2 2? That's Olivia. Olivia's um, couch. She's a mod on the stream. But I've got her laptop, so technically I'm logged in on her on the side. Do I have nighttime running? What the shit? Alright, so we've integrated the Iron Guard. Let's start getting towards some of these. So, ban Orthodox practices. Uh, the dominant religion was so basically banning orthodox practices. Thanks for the follow. Haken Coben three five two three. Really appreciate that, buddy. Welcome to stream. Uh, ban restorationist ideas and an Austrian settlement initiative. We must ensure the Germans are the majority ethnic group by simply shifting the remaining population. Thanks for the host, buddy. Appreciate that. Okay. Whatever. Let's start doing that. I want to see what happens. Spoilers. Not a spoiler. Oh, what happened? You know, Sardinia declared war on the Sardinian League. There is now a Sardinian civil war in Milan. Sure. Why not? All right, in the next episode, we're going to continue this um, with the, hopefully, annexation of Romania, and then moving towards the annexation of the Bulgarian powers. Do you leave a like, a comment on the video? Let me know if you think series so far. I was Alger all continued to be, and this has been some Hearts of Iron 4, Pax Britannica, playing Austria. Bye-bye.